Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about something that really bothers us when we are busy trying to connect our database to Microsoft Visual Studio. In fact, I'm talking about this error message here, where it says a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to a SQL server. The server was not found or was not accessible. Verify that the instance name is correct and that SQL server is configured to allow the remote connection. Then it gives you all the error message as it works. So this is one of the common problems that we encounter when we try to connect our database into the Microsoft Visual Studio. So the first thing you need to do to resolve this issue is just to follow me as I'm going to take you through the process as it works. So the first thing to do, we just minimize this window, is to go to the Explorer. Actually, let me try to connect. That will be, that will make sense. So I'm just going to launch my uh, Visual Studio. I come here to data connections. I right click, and then you select add connection. And then, as you know, I can just put. Actually, there's a drop down here. So you see, let me try to 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 to, to expand it to drop down if uh, I'll be able to find my my server name here. It's taking a while. This means that something is wrong already. It should not take this time. It should not be this long. So you can see, I'm not able to find my server. Okay, let me put a dot as it works because it's a local one. I put a dot. I'm coming here to expand here. I mean, to select or to enter database. I'm not going to enter my database name. I'm just going to select because normally it was supposed to be populated with my database name there. So I click there. And then I wait for a while. Again, this is a problem already. It should not take this long. But let me at least, at least wait. It's a lo loading data name. It's loading database name. It should not take this long. It was supposed to be done within a few seconds. But now it's taking long. So it means that something is wrong. And there we go. It throw this message saying that a network related or instance specific error occurred while establishing a connection to SQL server. And the server, the server was not found or was not accessible. Verify that the instance name is correct and that SQL server is configured to allow remote connections and then it gives all the error message. So something is, is wrong here and then we need to get it fixed. All right. So what you can do, you close this window over here. I'm just going to reduce my uh, Microsoft Visual Studio. And then you open your Windows Explorer. You go all the way down here. You search for Microsoft Server SQL, Microsoft, sorry, my Microsoft SQL Server 2017. This is the version which is installed on my, on my computer. Just going to expand it. And then you come here where it says SQL Server 2017 configuration management. So you click on it. If it asks you this question, you just come to yes. Then wait a little bit. All right. So here's the problem here. Services. So it says that the services are closed. They should be running. But as you can see, these guys here, they are not running. They, are, they stopped running. So what we can do. We have to get them running. How do you go for that? Well, it's very simple. First of all, you just have to select one of the service and then you right click, you come to start, wait a little bit, at least uh, it's starting the service. You can see now it changed from stopped from being running. So the next time to do, you come to the next service because this one also has to be open, has to be running. You right click on it and then you come to start. 
All right? So we're, we have already started, but it seems like it's still stopped. What you can do, let's try to refresh. All right, after refreshing, we just realized that it has already started running. So you also have to get running this third service. Do the same thing. Right click, you come to start. Wait. Now it says running. But for the, the best results after doing all these operations, you just have to refresh again on this page. Right click, you come to refresh. And then these are the three services which we wanted to be running so that we can be able to connect our database into Microsoft Visual Studio. And then we're going to work on it. Okay, I'm going to close this window here. Let me launch again my uh, Visual Studio. And I'm going to try to connect again my database. So you just select here. Actually, let me close this. Oh, sorry. It should be open. So I come to menu view and then I select SQL Survey Object Explorer. All right, SQL Server Explorer. Then you click there. You come to Data Connections, right click, Add Connection. And then let me try to get again if I'll be able to connect it. So I try to drop down this list. Now it seems like it's still taking long. It should not take this long to populate uh, with my server name. But anyway, let's just wait. Unfortunately, still I can't find my server name. All right, let me go to the next step. I'm just going to put a dot. And then I come down here to try to select my database. I'll click on this arrow down here so I can populate uh, the database which are in my SQL Server. So I wait, seems like it's still taking long, which is not normal. One more time. Unfortunately, I'm still not able to connect my database with my Visual Studio. So if you are still struggling at this, some, at this point, there is something very simple that you need to do. You, must, you just have to understand that at this, at this point, uh, the connection there's no connection between your microsoft visual studio to the database so which means something is missing here what is missing here is the name of the server so since you cannot find the name of the server here 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 so what you can do it's fine you remove that dot let me close this window here you reduce uh, the visual, the Microsoft Visual Studio, and then you come, you open your Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. All right. So because this one it was already connected, let me try to connect to to disconnect it, and then you come to File, you click on Connect Object Explorer. You just click on it. It's gonna ask you to connect into the management studio so what you can do at, at this point your server name is this one as for my computer this is for my computer but for you it is going to be definitely different or maybe it might be different but as for me this is the name of my server so if it was your computer you should see the name of your server here maybe you maybe you should see something like this so there's no name of your server it's simple don't worry don't panic just click here you see it's going to populate it's going to provide you with the name of your server as for my case this is the name of my server but for you it's going to be something totally different or maybe it might be the same all right so you just have to select the, the name of your server and then you do control plus c which stands for copy so you just copy it 
copy the name of your server then you can connect if you want disconnected just gonna release this window here then you launch again microsoft visual studio you do as if you want actually you try again to connect into your database add connection so since you cannot still find the name of your server now you can just paste it after it is paste let now come here try to select if you will be able to find the name of our database there we go you see now i'm able to see this area being populated with all the database that are available in my computer but as for me the one i want to work on is this one db8 one db8 one this is the database i want to work on let me select it then i come to uh, let me try to connect if the connection is is done test connection all right test connection succeeded so which means it's fine but don't forget to hit on ok so you can be able to go hit on ok there we go you can see this is now my server name all right let me try to expand it if i'll be able to find my database name here table so this is the name of the server slash sql express dot the name of my database that follows after that and all these tables here are the one that are inside my database so we can see now we were able after doing all these steps to connect our database into microsoft visual studio and then i can carry i can carry, carry i can keep on working i can carry on without any problem so this is what i find interesting to share with you guys today thanks a lot for your patience Thank, thanks for watching this video please if you like this video don't forget to smash or to hit the subscribe button so that next time when i drop a video you're not going to miss it you'll be alerted and for you to be very alerted in a nice way Try also to turn on your notification bell so that you can receive a notification popping up on your phone telling you that you know what a video has just been released which can be important to you and maybe also to other people. Thanks a lot. Take care guys. See you in the next video.